Hey y'all, today I'm showing you how I Raptor lined my F350 7.3 Power Stroke, myself and for an affordable price. There are many options for painting your vehicle. However, Raptor Liner made by Upol has made a quick emergence into the do-it-yourself automobile painting market. What is Raptor Liner? Raptor Liner is a durable and tintable urethane protective coating. Originally developed as a bed liner spray, Raptor Liner is UV resistant, waterproof, and capable of excessive force and beating. Why Raptor Liner? Raptor Liner has a superior ability, and in my opinion, a better aesthetic than many regular auto paints. Aside from performing superbly, the final finish of Raptor Liner gives your vehicle the toughest and sharpest look possible. This is the original two color paint job my truck came in. Nothing wrong with it. However, I wanted a more durable surface that matched the overall physique of the truck. As you can see in these photos, Raptor lining my vehicle black gave it just the look I was going for. With the idea of Raptor lining my truck came a few other maintenance jobs that fit the opportunity perfectly. I replaced both fenders as the passenger side had a massive dent and the driver's side had a rusting hole that was becoming too big to ignore. I also replaced the tailgate, which you can see was in very poor condition. I greatly advise you to consider any bodywork that needs tending to before Raptor lining or any paint job as it is easier to spray it in one time frame rather than small segments. Along with painting my truck, I also replaced the old fender flares, purchased and installed new headlights, tail lights, and third brake lights. These purchases were necessary in order to match the overall paint job. The texture of the Raptor liner can be altered slightly based off of the air pressure or PSI, how close your Schutz gun is to the vehicle, and how long you hover over one area. I will show you the technique that is best suited to spray Raptor liner a little further on in this video. During this time that I had the vehicle in a temperature and weather controlled environment, I also removed the transmission and had it rebuilt to a 2.5 stage to handle the horsepower modifications I have made and will be making in the future. Here is an example of how I ran into problems under the surface quite literally. On both cab doors and corners I discovered a gross amount of rusted out holes. I took an extra few days and patched the holes over with sheet metal and a MIG welder. It is advisable to remove battery cables when welding on your vehicle. I then applied Bondo to the creases and moved on. Here is the tailgate I bought from a wreckage yard. Even came with a diamond plate cap on the top, all for $200 in almost mint condition. That was a good deal. Here are the items that you will absolutely need to Raptor line your vehicle. You will need adequate space enough to move around comfortably all around your vehicle. You will need weather and temperature controlled environment. The temperature while painting and curing is advised at the 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. A little deviation from that won't matter. However, I would not apply Raptor liner below 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The vehicle must be undisturbed by debris or dust for at least two hours after spraying, so the surface is homogeneous and free of foreign matter. This gives the paint its best finish. Do not expose the vehicle to rain or any moisture while applying, and even up to three days after applying. You will need sandpaper. These could be rotating discs, pieces of sandpaper, or pieces that you use by hand. I use both. You will need degreaser, lint-free cloths, you will need an air compressor and hose, you will need painter's tape, painting paper or newspaper, Raptor liner kit, primer for bare metal areas to spray on before you apply Raptor liner. You will also want adhesion promoter for the plastic and less tacky surfaces or harder to sand surfaces. You can buy 
you pull special adhesion promoter or cheaper brand adhesion promoter. Both of them work. Here are the things that you may want. Tintable Raptor Liner. If you would like to Raptor line your vehicle anything other than straight white or straight black, you will want the Tintable Kit. Both kits are linked in the description for the United States and Canada. You may want a special Schutz gun, not necessary, however, likely provides an even more consistent finish. I did not use this, I use the gun that is shipped with the kit. Caution, if you decide to sandblast, like I did, wear enough clothing to cover all your skin. If you don't look like you're in the apocalypse, you're not doing it right. Here is my truck all sanded and ready to wash. I use the advised 80 to 240 grit sandpaper. The sanding process is very dusty, so use a ventilator and suitable air circulation. Remember to hand sand areas that are not easy to access. These are the final steps before any spraying. 1. Wash with hose, sponge, and dish soap. 2. Wipe down entire vehicle with degreaser and lint-free cloths. 3. Tape up all areas that you do not want sprayed. Examples, tires, windows, or lights. 4. The last step is to cover all bare metal with primer and all areas that could not be sanded well or made of plastic with adhesion promoter. Now here's the fun part, spraying. But before I show you that, let me review how to fill and mix Raptor Liner for spraying. So here's the box that Raptor Liner comes in. It'll come with four bottles of the Raptor Liner paint and one bottle of hardener. It also comes with a Schutz gun inside. You may need to use more than one package or one kit. I use three on my truck, it will vary for the vehicles. That is the hardener, and that is the paint. You will notice a indented line on the top of the bottle. That will be important later. This is the Schutz gun, which I have added an air pressure regulator on it, so I can change that on the fly. The trigger works fairly simply and easy. With the bottle, note that line that you see almost up to the top. This line is where you will need to fill it with. The actual paint comes in the bottle about where my finger is. And then the hardener will need to fill up all the way to the top of that line. The hardener will have four portions inside of it for each bottle. Make sure you shake it very well before you put it on, which will screw on to the Schutz gun and should be easy to screw on. Don't force it on if it does not. You will need an air compressor hose that can move to all areas around your vehicle. This is the adhesion promoter that I chose to use. It was cheaper than the U-Pull brand and it works just as well as I imagined it would. It sprays just like any other spray paint and very easy to use. Remember to mix your bottle by shaking. Shake the bottle for about a minute before attaching to the gun. Advisory, do not just start spraying. I used a piece of cardboard to test on. Find your perfect distance, speed, and PSI. You will want between 40 and 80 PSI. I shot at 60 PSI. 
Here is a video of me spraying the Raptor liner. If you were paying attention, you would have noticed that I am swiping the gun from side to side, squeezing the trigger between each swipe. This stops uneven texture or dripping. You will want to apply at least two coats. Wait about one hour in between coats. If unsure of an area, go over again. Always error on the side of more rather than less for Raptor Liner. The spraying of Raptor Liner is easy and an eight-year-old could master it in a day. Just get the feel of it before spraying on your vehicle. Peel off all painter's tape and paper after about an hour has passed. If you wait for the liner to fully cure before this step, the liner will crack instead of making fine lines. Do take care in removing this tape. Allow the Raptor liner three days without moisture and in 10 to 20 degrees Celsius or 50 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. After this duration, be easy on it for a week. After a week, it should be ready for regular use. Here's the final step. Cruise around, turning heads, and making all your friends jealous. Also, be aware, people will want to touch your vehicle due to the texture of Raptor Liner. Thank you for watching. Make sure you drop a like. Please subscribe. And remember to touch the bell icon so you can see future updates and all new videos.